The Earth is a globe. This is a simple fact that humans have known for thousands of years. This was confirmed as soon as the Soviet Union launched the Sputnik 1 satellite in 1957 and it circled around the Earth. Nevertheless, a small group of people still insist that the Earth is flat. They are called the Flat Earthers. They have emerged online in recent years and they seem to be having doubts about the most basic aspect of reality. Many Flat Earthers put a great deal of effort into providing alternative explanations for why the world behaves as if it's round. Even though a spherical Earth clearly fits the observations humans have made about the planet over the last few millennia. However, if Earth somehow was truly flat, it would not behave much like the planet we know today. In fact, humanity and everything else would be very much dead. To shape a cosmic body into a disk rather than a sphere, you've got to spin it very fast. Unfortunately, this would destroy the planet by tearing it into tiny particles. In the 1850s, astronomer James Maxwell showed mathematically that a solid disk-like shape isn't a stable configuration in the universe in work he conducted regarding Saturn's rings. Maxwell's research predicted that Saturn's rings would be made of lots of small, unconnected particles. And he turned out to be right. His math also explains why there are no planet-sized disks floating around the galaxy. To flatten Earth without spinning it very rapidly, you would need magic. At any rate, a stamped flat Earth wouldn't last for long. Within a few hours, the force of gravity would press the planet back into a spheroid. Gravity pulls equally from all sides, which explains why planets are spheres. A stable, solid disk like Earth just isn't possible under the actual conditions of gravity. And once you get rid of gravity, everything about our planet rapidly stops making sense. The atmosphere, gone, because it's held to the planet by gravity. Tides? Gone. They're caused by the gravitational pull of the moon, which tugs on the oceans and causes them to subtly bulge out. The moon itself, also gone, since every explanation of the moon's existence involves gravity. In the most widely accepted scenario, the moon was created when a giant planet-sized body crashed into the early Earth, the debris from the crash was captured by Earth's gravity. Another scenario suggests that the moon formed at the same time as Earth did, again, thanks to gravity. Gravity is also responsible for Earth's layered structure, with the densest materials sinking to the core, lighter materials making up the mantle, and the lightest materials forming the crust. Without this layered structure, the planet would behave a lot differently. For example, Earth's liquid outer core acts as a giant dynamic magnet, which creates the planet's magnetic field. The magnetic field helps protect the planet's atmosphere from the stripping effect of the solar wind. The Martian atmosphere was scrapped by the solar winds as the planet's magnetic field was destroyed about 4 billion years ago. If the Earth was flat, the tectonics plate that make up the planet's crust wouldn't work either. The flat Earth worldview also involves cherry-picking different explanations for different phenomena. In real life, the Earth and the Moon are both round for the same quantifiable reason, gravity. Flat Earth believers have to invent independent explanations for both, and these independent explanations often contradict one another. This is not how scientific theory works. But setting all that aside, if the Earth were truly flat, people won't be able to create a flat Earth website. As satellites wouldn't be possible. How would satellites orbit a plane? There are a number of satellite missions that society depends on that just wouldn't work. I cannot think how GPS would work on a flat Earth.